court to open this event for us. Let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. Eric Chai, Chief Public Mission Officer from Hong Kong South of Fort for an opening speech. Mr. Chai, please. I'm delighted to be here today and uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the on the successful award competition and to all the awardees. awardees. Well, PMT is definitely a pioneer of FinTech in Hong Kong and has collaborated closely with Cyberport. It is fun and stand out in the market and then show institutions must embrace FinTech. So coming up next, let's hear from Mr. Calvin Troy, Chairman of AMTD Group. For the trainees, for this Innovation Awards, we are here celebrating excellence in digital finance. We will want to have our ceremony with all of you every year to pick the winners, the contributors for the community but to promote more collaboration. And for all the winners, you are already part of our APD's partner. So once again, congratulations to the winners. And thank you, all the AMT leaders, for all the support and all the efforts in organizing this event. And of course, the Dishfin team for hosting the event. Let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. James DiBiasio, the editor of Dishfin, to say a few words for us. James, please. We want to make sure that our awards are, are credible, uh, they've got some authority behind them, and that they're independent. So anybody entering these awards, it's not they're buying the awards. That doesn't exist. Uh, they have to earn the awards. And proof is that for this first set of awards for banking, payments, and capital markets, we had more than 100 submissions. I don't have narrow lanes, you know, best fintech in this and best bank in that. No! It's about the solution for your customers and your users. You've got to compete against one another to win these awards. So we've got in the same arena financial institutions, incumbents with scrappy fintech startups. And sometimes they're competing and sometimes they're actually collaborating and partnering to, to win these awards. Emma Smith will take us through the first set of awards on capital markets. Over to you, Emma. Uh, Sam Piper, my firm, is delighted to support these awards because, as James said, they are extremely high quality and they are independent. And as a PR agency, we recognize and value the independent voices covering an industry. And I have the pleasure and honor of announcing the winners of this year's awards for capital markets. So there are two parts in this section. The first are awards for solutions, and then we have two special awards for most innovative companies. So first of all, I'm going to start with best trading solutions. The winner of this award is Saxo Bank Group. Um, on behalf of Saxo, uh, we're very proud to receive this award from AETD and also Dixon. Um, after the explanation of the rigor of the selection, uh, it makes us uh, particularly proud to uh, be honoured by the judges and also the recognition from our own clients. Um, the award is testimony for uh, all the hard work that our team in Saxo does, uh, which is to strive for the best product and also services to our clients uh, so that they can trade and invest uh, online, uh, on markets all around the world, and also multi-asset. Um, soon we'll be entering the asset management and also the uh, wealth management space. So hopefully soon we'll be able to challenge for those awards. Um, but uh, lastly, I want to uh, congratulate all the um, organizers. It's a fantastic event, uh, so thank you very much. The second award is for best post-trade solution. Uh, this award goes to Broadridge. So on behalf of Broadridge and the whole team in Asia, I'd like to thank AMTD and Digfin for selecting us for this award. And I'd also like to thank the panel of esteemed and diverse judges. <laughs> This year we were excited to launch our new post-trade fast start solution in APAC to better help small mid-tier brokerage firms across the domestic and the global markets fast, uh, faster and simply in the post-trade space. Once again, I'd just like to thank Digifin and AMTD. And now moving to best ESG fintech solution. But this award goes to Meniga. Thank you very much for a, such an impressive uh, reward. Uh, we're very proud of what we're doing with uh, many a carbon side, and this is a fantastic example of being recognized. So, 
we thank you all the judges for such a recognition. Uh, a lot of banks are using our technology and they are very, very happy by listening to what the customers are, are telling them. So uh, this is just the beginning of a very, very long journey where we're helping, uh, we're going to continue helping banks on, on their ESG journey. Again, thank you very much. I wish I could be there in person, uh, but this time it wasn't possible. So thank you everybody for, for the award. And our next award is Most Innovative Debbie Solution. And this goes to SCB10X, the venture arm of Siam Commercial Bank. Thanks guys for, uh, for the recognitions. We thank all the judges for uh, all the recognition that, that we got and we are very proud to uh, receive of the award. A little bit of SCB10X and award. So SCB10X, like we uh, uh, a venture investment arm of Siam Commercial Bank with the uh, oldest bank in Thailand and we are delving hard onto and invest hard onto like DeFi and uh, blockchain solutions. And A4 is one of the spin-off companies that uh, work closely with DeFi community, allow um, user uh, DeFi users to build their off their uh, on-chain investment. Uh, it was one of the spin-off company from Siam Commercial Bank and uh, again like thanks for the judge and uh, they fit for and our next award is for Best Solution for Securities Tokens. And this is awarded to DLA Piper for its TOCO champion. Scott, would you like to say a few words? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's an honour to pick up this award. Appreciate uh, and TD and Dixon for, for the award. Quick note of thanks, um, obviously, to the law firm DLA Piper, their vision in creating the radical change agenda and the ability to do something as innovative as TOCO within the, within the constraints of a traditional law firm is obviously a huge thing. The other thing I'd like to really do is point out the uh, benefits of the team, and as you can see, I've got a number of them here, but there are many more as well who aren't able to be here today. It's been really exciting working in this multidisciplinary environment. We've got legal, we've got technology, we've got marketing people, we've got financial wizards, and bringing all those skills together in order to create uh, TOCO has been a fascinating journey. I'd also like to just mention some of our tech partners. We've been really careful in our choice of blockchain technologies. Within the TOCO engine, we use private chain, public chain environments. We're using the Hedera consensus service as best of breeds in the consensus uh, for our solution. And we're also a multi-chain platform, so we are to produce tokens and deploy them onto multiple protocols, including in addition to Ethereum, we can do Algorand, uh, Polygon, uh, and Hedera tokens as well, which is really exciting that we're uh, able to then be so in terms of implementation. Next, we're moving to best solutions for digital asset trading. This award has been won by Q9 Capital. Wow, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you to AMTD and thank you to Ditchfin and thank you to the judges as well for bestowing this award upon us. Uh, yeah, as Emma said, this is the second time we've won a Ditchfin award. I think we're the only firm to have, uh, to have done this, which makes it incredibly special. And crypto's an incredibly crowded space, and to win best trading solution with an incredibly crowded space, being such a new business, uh, is an incredible honor, and I think testament to what we're doing within this space. Uh, I'd like to also hand over to James Quinn, who's managing partner, to say a few words. I think, I think James, you really said it all. I'd just like to make an additional thanks to the team who worked so hard at this, but in particular to our, to our customers and our clients. Uh, they're the ones who really make us what we are, and it's, it's for them that we're, we're developing these type of products and helping to grow the uh, ecosystems and to grow crypto. And now we're moving to innovative companies in capital markets. We have two awards um, to present here. The first is for most innovative exchange or venue. And this award goes to the Sydney Stock Exchange. What we're trying to do is to grow the investor base in the capital markets as well as grow and support the SMEs from the, the small to mid caps across the market. So for us, the way we can do that is, is being friendly. We can be innovative and support the listing needs of, of this uh, market segment. So we're really proud to be able to support that into the market. We hope that as we grow, we help the other uh, companies grow, and we also support growth in the market and help democratise it for both investors and companies. And this is for Capital Markets FinTech of the Year. 
This award has been won by OSL. So, thank you, uh, first of all, to Dijkin, uh, Sam Piper, and ANTV. Um, it's, uh, it's some really strong voices from the industry, and I've uh, been pleased to meet all of you um, over the years in this, uh, in this growing industry. For those of you who don't know, OSL is a subsidiary of a main board listed company, BC Group, here in Hong Kong. And we've spent quite some years focusing on building the trading platform to service professional and institutional parts of the market. Uh, we're Hong Kong's uh, first and only licensed trading platform by the SFC. And we also go to market with our, our technology platform. And uh, as Emma mentioned, we've been pleased to announce DBS as one of those clients. A uh, joint venture uh, with Standard Chart uh, later in the year. And I'm um, very hopeful we can announce more of those uh, similar announcements um, in quarters and uh, years to come. Thank you very much. Uh, most appreciate Now we're going to do banking and payments. And we'll conclude with FinTech of the Year. Best solution for consumers. The winner is WISE. We are extremely delighted and honored that the WISE cryptocurrency account and debit card has received the Best Solution for Consumer Award at the Digital Finance Innovation Awards. Anytime people send, spend, receive, and manage money in ample currency, they are often spending more than necessary on foreign exchange fees, money that should have stayed in their pockets. The WISE multi-currency account, accompanied with our debit card, is built to solve a real-world problem and stop hidden fees rip off. We believe that consumers and businesses deserve a smart solution to manage their money without foreign exchange fees and markups. Thank you once again to the judging panel. We are truly honored for the recognition and wise will continue working hard towards our mission of building money without borders, instant, convenient, transparent, and eventually free. That's how it should be. Thank you. Best solution for small businesses. The winner is Air Wallex and Visa. And we are really excited to and our own to partner with Air Wallets to launch this exciting uh, cross-border solutions for the SMT Express. Thank you, Mr. Prince, for the award. And obviously, thank you our great partner, Visa. Uh, we have this card known in Hong Kong, but also in other markets like AU and UK. Air Wallets, as you guys might know, we are a FinTech unicorn, Hong Kong-based. Uh, we service companies of all size, helping them with their payments and issuing and acquiring services. So we just raised our Series E, a value of $5 billion, and going very aggressively across the globe. Best core banking solution. The winner is Mambu. Hey everybody. Um, unfortunately I can't be there today, but joining you live from Singapore. First of all, I accept this award on behalf of the entire Mambu team, and we're incredibly proud to be accepting that today. I'd like to thank AMTV and Digifin, it's great to be a part of this occasion. As I said, it's a very important milestone for us. Mabu continues to be incredibly excited by all the innovation and the activity that is going on in the banking space in the Asia Pacific region. And on behalf of my 30 plus customers in 11 countries, again, thanks for aiming to be in Digifin, and we look forward to more awards in the future. Okay, our next award, Best Lending Solution. The winner is Validus. Absolutely, yeah. No, absolutely right. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's it's sort of you no know, uh, behalf of Travis and the entire family, Travis and family. Uh, it's it's just a delight, and uh, we're very happy to sort of be them in front of the uh in this edition of World 2021. Uh, and absolutely, you know, just, I'm uh, very pleased and honored to sort of receive the best lending platform uh, solution. Uh, with just people who don't know about Travis. Uh, Valorous is, uh, is a smart and intended platform uh, based out of Singapore, operating in Southeast Asia four markets. We are, we are leading uh, an audition lending solution in this part of the world. And, uh, and yeah, on behalf of uh, the entire Valorous team uh, and uh, all our uh, employees, a very, uh, very big thank you uh, to the panelists and the judges who, who brought us here. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, best solutions in payments. And the winner is Niam. Thank you very much to Honest Our Solution. We actually do think that the solution will help us to shape the futures of payment solution. And we are very honest with Our best solution in trade finance goes to Moneta Go. Um, on behalf of Moneta Go, thank you very much to the AMTD Big Fit Innovation Awards. The 
EPA, Sam Pfeiffer, and of course FinTech Association of Hong Kong, for recognising secure finance, our secure financing solution as the best solution in paid finance. That's very exciting and very pleased to be uh, accepting this award on behalf of the team. I apologise, of course, that you can't be there in person. Um, our secure financing solution mitigates against duplicate financing risk in trade. Uh, the hidden risk that all financiers are exposed to. Obviously, last year, the world of trade finance was rocked by the discovery of massive frauds amounting to billions of losses. The discovery seemed near enough to result in several banks uh, stepping back from trade finance altogether. Um, we've you know, successfully had a solution in India now for more than three years, accumulating a great deal of experience and insights. Uh, techniques and technology required to prevent duplicate financing, and this is, as such, this has enabled us to build a global solution which will be deployed globally uh, very soon through SWIFT. And uh, in partnership with SWIFT, our objective is to uphold the integrity of the trade finance ecosystem, which obviously plays a very crucial role in the global economy. So, thank you very much again to everyone for this recognition. We hope to see you in person next year, if not before. Now we have trade finance, now on to supply chain finance. The best solution goes to FQX, a new Hong Kong based fintech. Well, thank you. Uh, on behalf of FQX, I would like to thank MTD and Digifin for this incredible award and, and honor. Uh, believe it or not, we, we have been in Hong Kong for only one month, and uh, we have been overwhelmed with the amazing welcome in Hong Kong of our innovative solution. Uh, so this really goes uh, to reward the hard work um, that the team in Zurich has put together over the last two years to create the first market-ready solution for electronic promissory notes that we call e-notes based on a banking-grade uh, blockchain uh, network with a um, unique patent-pending authentication mechanism. So our digital infrastructure uh, is revolutionary in the sense that it's legal, secure, and enforceable in 165 countries on the one legal basis. Uh, it will eliminate fraud in supply chain financing and substantially reduce transaction costs. The best solution for cash management goes to a bank, Standard Chartered. To receive this award, I'd like to welcome Natarajan Shuram, Chief Information Officer for Digital Banking. The best red tech solution. Uh, the winner of uh, red tech solution is uh, Chukitaki. We're delighted to accept this award and would like to thank AMTD, Digital and Judges for recognising Tukitaki as a leading tech innovator. Uh, thanks very much for the introduction. Our vision has always been to equip financial institutions with the definitive tools to manage the compliance challenges, especially in this digital age. And we're especially proud to be recognised for our work with UOB in Singapore, who have been a, a, a long supporter of our innovation and work. Uh, and this year, obviously, we are expanding our remit with UOB. But as we said, we work with a number of uh, you know, digital banks and a lot of new players that come into the market as well, as well as uh, established uh, bricks and mortar banks globally. Uh, and we believe that only through the collective efforts can financial institutions really tackle money laundering effectively. And so, one of our pioneering uh, efforts is the Topology Repository, where we catalogue the latest money laundering techniques and trends into the largest database of its kind, a database that UOB is taking advantage of, and all of our clients are taking advantage of as well. So, we're really proud of our efforts and we're proud of your recognition, uh, and we hope to be with you next year. Thank you very much. Uh, most innovative consumer bank. Uh, we gave this award to Bank Amar in Indonesia. Unfortunately, uh, they're not able to. Uh, get a senior representative with us uh, for, for this hour. Most innovative corporate bank. The winner is HSBC. On behalf of HSBC, I would like to thank uh, AMTD, uh, DJ King, and most importantly, we are very thankful for our customers um, for giving us this award. Uh, I think it is a very encouraging uh, recognition from all of you. Uh, it proves that the bank with a 156 his, uh, years history can and does innovate on a continuous basis. As our CEO mentioned this morning, uh, we have we spend half billion dollars a year uh, on technology. Uh, the purpose is, is actually to bring the best customer experience to our customers. And also at the same time, because we are, we are a bank, so we wish to safeguard our customers as well. So 
this awareness is very strong and very close to our heart. Uh, with that uh, recognition, we will continue to innovate and we will continue to bring the best, better experience to our customer. Thank you very much. Payments Processor of the Year. Uh, this award this year goes to a fintech called Accra. Our final award, which is Fintech of the Year. With a growing global reach, our Fintech of the Year is proud to be helping promote financial inclusion to ensure millions of people around the world can access the benefits of Fintech. They're proud to be an Asian-born Fintech, taking innovations into more markets to help more people around the world. Fintech of the Year for 2021 is Neom, and I'm pleased to have Ivy Lund, Head of North Asia, join us to say a few words. Once again, congratulations to me on for winning the Grand Award. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you again to the judges. Thanks to Calvin and the whole team at MTD, to Emma and her crew at Sandpiper, and to the other groups, uh, Emerging Payments Association in Australia, and Hong Kong FinTech Association, which also helped promote the event. My name is Jane DiBiazio. I'll see you online.